Thank you. Uh, um, let me uh, let me uh, take a step back and and tell you a little bit about my experience with skin and 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 with its embryology and its uh, development, especially in uh, adults. So I've studied the cells and the molecules in skin for for 45 years, and uh, we've looked at a variety of components, particularly in the dermis. And we know lots of the chemistry of the matrix of skin, both in the papillary and in the reticular dermis. And so um, what I'm about to tell you is a piece of that. Um, and, and actually, I'm going to share with you some clinical data from uh, colleagues in, in um, uh, South Korea who have used fat grafting, but also have used the mesenchymal stem cell preparations uh, particularly for cosmesis. So in, in, if um, a woman walks into a, a, a dermatologist's office and say, I, I want to get rid of these wrinkles, uh, the, one of the easiest thing, of course, to do is some fat grafting to puff up the skin and to remove the wrinkles in that way. And certainly uh, 10, 15 years ago, um, some of my colleagues in South Korea started doing that. And um, as the uh, MSC, mesenchymal stem cell, technology evolved, uh, these physicians started using preparations where they added MSCs to the fat graft. And what's phenomenal is, number one, the fat graft stays around much longer. So there's a downside for uh, clinicians is that the patient doesn't come back so often, but the patient is uh, just delighted with the long-term outcome. And what I've seen in real uh, data, so, so in, in South Korea, as is the case <clears throat> worldwide, now when women walk into a dermatologist's office for a treatment, they take a digital photograph. So then they come back a week later, they take another digital photograph. And then they come back a month later and they take another digital photograph. So the scientific database are a bunch of digital photographs with their strung together, and you know what the interval is between photographs. And what you see in some of the women who've had uh, MSCs added to the fat graph is you see pock marks on their skin pr from, from when they had acne when they were younger or from measles, from mumps. But, but this is scar tissue. This is real scar tissue. And what you see in the field around where the fat graft is the scar goes away. And that is the genius of MSCs. And it turns out that scar tissue is a living tissue. It has cells in it. And it keeps regenerating itself and producing the scar tissue uh, in a continuous way. And that's why scars stay around forever. Now, MSCs, as part of what they do naturally, is they put out molecules. We know the names of some of these molecules and they actually stop scar from forming. So they stop the process of synthesis of scar. So now if you have a scar on your face and you've turned off the synthesis, it doesn't rejuvenate itself. So the degradation of that tissue, which is normal, continues. And what you see after a couple of months is the scar, these pock marks, these blemishes, they go away. And that's the secret of MSCs. The secret of MSCs is that they do two things. One is they uh, can control the local immune system. And the second thing they do is they set up a regenerative microenvironment. And as part of that um, complex uh, group of molecules that they put out, they put out molecules that do two things. One is they stop scar from forming. So they actually inhibit the synthesis of this collagenous material that's the that form scar. But the other thing they do, which is fabulous and for which we have really good data, is they stop the entrance of the cells, which you would call myofibroblasts or scar forming cells. They stop their entrance into the wound site and into the scar tissue. So the so basically not only do they turn the factories off, but they stop the new factories from coming in. And so that's why these preparations for various cosmeses is, is really important. And, and we, 
we've suggested some of our orthopedic surgeon friends and some of our general abdominal surgery friends squirt in a little MSCs after you're, you've done your internal stitching because the scar tissue will go away. And I can tell you from personal experience, I, I've had a, my hip replaced. And the, my, my good friends, the orthopedic surgeons, not only left a nice scar on my hip, but what they did is they left, left some huge internal scarring due to the musculature that they pushed aside. So a year after I had my hip replaced, I had really dysfunctional muscle. And I took this lipogens preparation and had it injected um, by a physician, by uh, a, 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 a dermatologist, um, into my uh, hip field. Actually, I drew with a magic marker on my thigh. I drew myself all the places I could palpitate where I knew I had internal scar and muscle degeneration. And you can ask uh, Dr. Tremolata because he was there. He saw it happen. Um, uh, they did 10 or 12 injections of a mil each into my musculature around my hip. Uh, that tissue is totally functional now. Uh, I can walk miles. Um, and, and, and it's quite phenomenal. And again, it's the fact that the lipogens preparation is a 500 micron aggregate of adipocytes with MSCs on the inside. And five to 10 days after you've injected them, when the acute inflammatory response has calmed down, the MSCs walk out and do their magic. Uh, don't ask me what they do. Don't ask me the chemicals they use. Uh, I, we're trying to figure it out, obviously. But um, whatever they do, uh, I'm happy with the end result. And I think that's the genius of this preparation. One is the, the MSCs are protected from the acute inflammatory response. And secondly, um, this encapsulated MSC, uh, eventually because it's a naturally migrating cell, it migrates out and, and sees the destruction and the injury site and does its thing. And certainly for wrinkles, for rebuilding tissue, uh, these cells are, are just perfect and particularly perfect because the internal scarring is minimized. And I think that's a key reason why uh, dermatologists, cosmetologists um, should be using this preparation, especially autologously. We know it does no harm, and we know for sure it, it has gigantic benefits. I, I hope I, I've enlightened you in this uh, subject. Uh, thank you.